Hi guys and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. It's good to see you and today I want to talk to you guys about ARA, which stands for Audio Random Access and it's a plugin extension that was developed by Personas in cooperation with Salomony all the way back in 2011. Today I want to show you some of the revolutionary workflows that were enabled by the ARA technology and show you how powerful these are when it comes to vocal production, for instance. Let's take a look. To showcase the true power of the ARA extension, I brought you a little snippet of a vocal production here that I really like because it's very educational. We have a lead vocal and a dub vocal here, which is basically a backing vocal that we want to follow suit. So let's give that a quick listen and I'm sure you're gonna hear a couple of issues with this really quickly. Cause we keep it all in To stop the word from breaking If you open up Instead of holding out As you can hear, the timing of these two is really not aligned at all. And there's an amazing software to solve this issue, which is Vocaline by SynchroArts. Vocaline really revolutionized the way we go about these issues because we used to solve this by hand, right? We try to uh, make our selections and try to cut it, maybe shift the content around a little bit until it would fit. Or another approach would be to go via the audio band menu up here, but that never worked quite as well like when Synchro Arts tackled this issue. So your next question might be, why was ARA even necessary then? Wasn't it enough for SynchroArts to develop their amazing plugin Vocaline and then this issue would be solved henceforth? Well, yes and no. Yes, because ARA is not needed for the magic that Vocaline does when it comes to aligning a dub vocal to a guide vocal. But no, because this process is highly convoluted without the big benefits of the ARA extension. So in order to understand why the ARA extension has been so revolutionary and then was adopted by so many other DAWs in the following years, let's jump back in time and look at how we used to work with Vocaline before the ARA came along. So in the first step we would have to open up the browser, then find Vocaline and drag it onto the track of our dub vocal. Okay, so now what we would have to do is establish a sidechain. This got much easier in version 4.5, fortunately, and route this sidechain into Vocaline as well. So the audio that's coming in from the sidechain is essentially the guide as kind of the groove quantization template, if you will, for the dub vocal. So the dub vocal can be aligned to the guide vocal. Now, if this already sounds confusing to you, just buckle up because it's gonna get a lot worse. But don't worry, you don't have to keep any of this in mind because I'm gonna show you the beauty of the AIA workflow right afterwards. This is just to show you how we used to do this, okay? So you can appreciate the comfort. All right, so the basic routing is done now. How do we now align the two? Well, we have to first capture the audio in real time. You see, without the ARA extension, the audio can only be shared with the plugin at playback point. So that means that you would have to capture everything into Vocaline first before you can start processing. Cause we keep it So once I hit stop, the audio has been captured by Vocaline and now I can start analyzing, aligning and processing it. However, this is a static process. So whenever I make any changes here to the audio, let's say I'm taking this one out, the Vocaline will actually not be affected. Keep it all in. To stop the word from breaking. See, the audio of the dub vocal is still here. So this leads to a situation where you would have an empty audio track and it would still put out audio and you would have no idea why until after half an hour or so you open up vocal line and you see, ah, there was still the audio captured in the buffer and that was what you were hearing all along. So that used to be a super clunky process, especially when you consider that you might not have just one backing vocal, but say six backing vocals and each of them would have to be captured like this and in real time too, so yeah. Now let's compare that with the ARA workflow and I'm sure you're gonna agree how revolutionary this is. 
So instead of dragging Vocaline to the insert here, let's just remove this really quickly. We quite simply select the audio events that we want to align and we select audio and edit with Vocaline. Now all that we do is just drag the guide vocal, in this case the lead box, onto the first track, drag the dub vocal on the second track and the job is done. Cause we keep it all in To stop the world from breaking If you open up Instead of holding out Especially in the end, let's just listen to how it sounded without Vocaline. If you open up Instead of holding out Way better, right? And all of that without any capturing of audio. So if I would go ahead and change something like before, change is immediately applied. Right, so that's way more tightly integrated with Studio One, way more efficient and time-saving. Now, Vocaline is only one of the plugins that support ARA in Studio One. There's also Melodyne, and Melodyne Essential is actually included when you buy Studio One Professional. And it's been the industry standard for years when it comes to timing or pitch shift corrections. So let's take a look at Melodyne right now and see how that can enhance our workflow. Also, please keep in mind that all of the inconveniences that I've covered uh, with Vocaline that were present before AIA became the industry standard were also the inconveniences of Melodyne. So just keep those in mind when I show you how you can work with Melodyne in Studio One. So for this example, I want to head to the chorus now. And as you can see, there's only a lead vocal here, but now we really need a backing vocal because we decided that the chorus is a little bit too flat otherwise. Let's have a listen. Instead of holding out Won't you let me in Baby, won't you let me in Right, so then we can just go ahead and duplicate it onto our other track. And once we've done that, we just head to the audio tab up here in the menu bar and click Edit with Melodyne. So now Melodyne has analyzed the audio for us and all that we need to do is just select the parts that we want. Maybe we can uh, tune them a little bit here. That's something that Melodyne does extremely well. And now I'm just gonna transpose them three semitones up and let's give that a listen. Out. Won't you let me in? So I hear there's a little bit of a That's better. Won't you let me in? Baby, won't you let me in? Also here, I can maybe go for won't this. You let me in? That's a bit too high, maybe like this. Won't you let me in? Very nice. And maybe just at this little end part, I could apply um, some sort of a reverb effect for a little bit of depth. And I'm just going to apply that on this single event here, like I did in my drag and drop video. Let's see how that sounds. After we show the preset here, maybe this one is nice. Instead of holding out, won't you let me in? Baby, won't you let me in? Or maybe just a little bit more length, a bit more pre-delay and a bit more mix factor so you can very clearly hear it and then only apply it to the last little bit from here. Baby, won't you let me yeah, that's very nice. So as you can see, ARA really allows you to include completely standalone softwares like Melodyne or even Revoice Pro, which is like Vocaline on steroids from Synchro Art, and use them as if they were native features of Studio One that have been there all along.